YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and I am back, like many of you, with another Hobby Lobby haul video. So I went back twice, and we have three Hobby Lobbies in my neck of the woods. Two stores already did their markdowns. The third store, I kept calling every day. I spoke to someone in the craft department, the same person, and every day he would tell me, nope. They didn't get that piece of paper stating to start marking items down. And yesterday, instead of calling, I was in the area, decided to stop. And I happened to be there at the time the items were being marked down. <laughs> so I got what I wanted to get. But the first time I went back, I did share a haul video several days ago. And then I... When I went back after that haul video, I picked up more items. So I did see these items when I first went, and I did share a live video as well. But I went back and decided to pick up these items. I do have, I don't have the Glimmer Mist or what is, I want to pick up the one by Spellbinders. And these are, well, this one here, and then this one. They're the hot foiling dies, uh, hot foiling plates, and the dies. And they're $6.24, regular $25. So you get a combo pack. I do have some flowers. I have the Anna Griffin, her foil machine. Hers was the first one, like on the market. And I have a lot of hot foiling dies from her collection. And I do have some flowers. And then. I did see this bird set when I went the first time and when I filmed and I had to go back and pick it up. Look at that cute bird house and then you have these cute birdies here. I don't know why I did not pick up these when I first when I first saw them, but they're so cute. 549 and you get six birds. Love that. And then I got um, I picked up the tangerine. I did pick up several other colors. And then, now, you guys, I did not know. Mini embossing folder. A 3D embossing folder. Now, what I did not know, and this is why I went back yesterday. What I did not know, Tim Holtz also has the 3D cut. Well, you'll see it, right? I did not discern between the two. So I thought these were all embossing folders when in reality some of these actually cut and emboss. And once I learned that, I was on the hunt to pick up all the ones Hobby Lobby had to offer. And then I picked up this color here. This is mint green. Now I don't think it's the mint green that I'm looking for, but um, it's a pretty mint color. And then I got another, well, I didn't get, I got a, a different pack. So this one is all about travel. And I've been to the pinnacle of the Eiffel Tower, all the way to the top. So I had to pick that up. And then this is a cute charm collection here. Y'all, it's a midnight haul. My hubby should be in bed. I'm filming. Right. I'm filming this. <laughs> I'm filming this at midnight, y'all. Because I'm still up. I'm going to be up for a minute. Okay, now, my most recent acquisitions. Let me tell you how bootleg I am, all right? <laughs> so, I went to the third Hobby Lobby. The one, the store that did not have the markdowns. And I decided I was going to purchase... These here. These are the 3D cut and emboss dies. They look just like the folders. And if you're like me, you probably didn't discern the difference. So when I learned that Hobby Lobby had these and had them on clearance, what I did was I went to the store that did not have the markdowns and I purchased all the ones the store had at regular price. And my intentions was, when the store marked them down, 
and you see them all here get a price adjustment or return the items and repurchase them so yesterday and I think there might be one more yesterday when I went to this store that didn't have the markdowns that was marking these down I saw that all of these were marked down and luckily I had my return in the car so I swooped up all the ones they had and they were all they had them all in stock except the one so I'm getting somewhere if some of you all think like me I just have to find that other one but anyway I went I returned the ones at the original price and then I purchased all the ones with the sticker except it was one particular die the store did not have in and where is that die I am looking for it oh my goodness the store did not have any more of those in it's this one right here see this one don't have a tag on it at all so anyway I had returned the one that I purchased at regular price and when I asked the cashier if she could mark it down to the clearance price she called someone else over and then that person told me they could not resell it to me they have a store policy that returns clearance returns they have to hold it for a day and I was like no way you don't have any more of these in the back that's marked down this is the only one so I asked to talk to a supervisor and I heard his response to her he was like he didn't care <laughs> they're all you know on clearance I could buy them all but he ended up telling me that it's not their policy once you return something they don't do price adjustment on clearance items and um, their their rule is to hold on to the item for a day but luckily he let me get this one at the 349 clearance price <laughs> so happy for that I did not know that that was Hobby Lobby's policy so if some of you think like me just keep that in mind um, you may not be so lucky but you guys these are all they're beautiful now um, Tim Holtz he has more of these I'm gonna have to get those online but you guys this one here oh it's gonna be a favorite I love this one I love them all and they're 3d so ooh, I cannot wait to use my mirror and foil cardstock so so happy to pick up all of those and then I picked up this full size Tim Holtz 3D folder called typewriter like that and then okay um, Tim Holtz his little die cutting machine called the sidekick that was marked down to $15 I have the original red machine so I didn't need to buy his but I did pick up because I don't have this for my red machine. These are embossing pads marked down to a buck. So I picked up several of those and then I picked up a couple of his plates. Now his plates are black, but these will work if you have the original red machine because they're identical, just different colors. Okay, that was a steal. Oh, got another one there. And then, what else do I have here? I picked up more of these. I love these. I've been coloring, staining these faith-based charm plates. And then, okay, my biggest, oh no, wait a minute. You guys, I got more. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> I got this 3D folder. This is so pretty. It's called Lacy love all things lace and then I picked up this one for $2.49 it's tropical leaves and then oh this one I just love what is this uh, weed called you make a wish I cannot think of the name but I have the regular embossing folder and a stamp set but this is the 3d beautiful oh okay dandelion wish yes love 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 that and then the honeycomb love this one <laughs> 3d as well 
And the only stamp I picked up, and it's photopolymer, I thought this strawberry layered stamp set is so pretty. And there's a coordinating die, but I'm going to have to pick this up online. I've been working a lot with fruits, and I don't really care for the clear stamp. Photopolymer is the next best thing, but when it comes to layering images, that's when the photopolymer stamps really shine because you can see exactly where, where you're stamping. Okay, you guys, and then I picked up this. <laughs> okay, this was marked down. Oh, regular price, only $13. Marked down at $374. It's a magnetic die storage case, and it comes with three magnetic sheets, but I found several packs individual packs <laughs> marked down to two dollars so I'm excited about this it's another way to store our dies and with that being said you all I think that is it I will go back because there's a couple other things that I I want and they're cheap they're like a dollar if my store still still has them but if you like this video why not like it give me a big thumbs up Feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so. Feel free to hit that notification bell. And keep in mind that these clearances, they vary by store and region. You can have multiple stores like I do, and the stores might put their items on clearance at different times. So continue to check with your stores. But with that being said, I do want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessing.